If you've been watching this channel for some time now, you would have heard me talking about the dream, the adventure, the journey, the end game of this whole channel. Today I just wanted to reiterate exactly what that is. I've been talking about this for like two years now and I have never actually gotten to do it. So I just wanted to explain exactly what the end goal is and why I'm bringing this up now. So about three years ago, I was 16 and I bought my first car, a 1993 Jeep Wrangler YJ, four liter Sahara edition. It had some problems. I got it for $3,000, hard top full doors, but the full doors didn't close. The front end was busted. It just had a lot of things that needed fixed. The thing was stupid dirty inside. It was full of dust and dirt. So the first thing I did was rip the whole interior apart and then start hosing it down and scrubbing it out. After I had everything out, I had my jeans rolled up and I was cleaning out the Jeep and I started thinking, what if I built like a little sleeping platform in here? At the time, I didn't think anyone else had thought of this. I thought it was just a revolutionary idea and I wasn't even thinking of manufacturing these things and selling them. I thought this was a great idea at the time and I wanted to see if anyone else had tried to do this just to get some inspiration or see if anyone else had had the same idea. Well, when I was doing that research, I actually came across this video. I'm gonna do a tour of my Jeep that I live in. Ooh, this cot is so firm. I think I could sleep here all night. Oh wait, I have for over six weeks. As I kept researching, trying to see if anyone else had tried that, I kept coming across that video. From that point, I've been following his channel ever since, and he's become actually my favorite YouTuber. I had plans to make it so you would actually have like a sleeping platform built in with different compartments and drawers and stuff. That way you could sleep in it, go camping or whatever. I had this whole thing planned out, but I actually hadn't thought about just getting a cot and tossing it in. After I watched his videos and saw how he did it, I actually attempted that. I put a cot in the Jeep, I tried sleeping in it a couple nights, and just went from there. From that point on, I actually became really inspired to actually try to do what he was doing live in a Jeep, 50 state road trip. Watching the kind of stuff he got to do, just traveling, creating vlogs on the road, just seemed amazing to me. So for the last two years, I've been trying to get everything ready so I can actually start that road trip. But the reason I haven't got to do it yet is because I ran into a lot of problems. Recently, my transmission broke and that didn't work out too great, as well as other things. Before my transmission actually gave out, it was having problems which made me think that one day I was actually gonna have to replace it. Really irritating, it was so close. Now I just have a mess I need to clean up. Last year I actually considered giving up on the whole thing. I bought a Miata, I even considered selling the Jeep for maybe a sport car or something. Um, after I started getting into it, I still was just tired of the Jeep. I was tired of working on it and I decided that maybe it would be better to actually just buy a newer Jeep. I even posted a video, I almost sold the Jeep where I explained all this. It really made me think Practically, this would be the better option. So that's why I actually posted the Jeep for sale. But after that, I realized I really don't want to sell my Jeep. I actually really enjoy my Jeep and I decided to keep it. After the whole pandemic happened, I lost my job due to the coronavirus. And since then, I didn't know what I was gonna do. But in the last two weeks, I actually made a lot of money from unemployment benefits and the stimulus check. And I realized that this might actually be a gateway opportunity to finally get the opportunity to start traveling. Unfortunately, I still am dealing with some problems with the Jeep, but as you just saw, I got a lot of parts. That drive shaft that busted and completely took out my transmission. I only recently got the transmission fixed and it still feels a little iffy. I'm still dealing with a starting issue with the Jeep. My whole PCM plug actually needs replaced. So the Jeep still needs a lot of work but it's very close to getting done. My biggest holdup was finances and getting the transmission fixed. And now I actually am doing pretty good on both of those things. So I'm thinking that maybe in the near future, I actually will get to do this. So right now, the goal is to get the Jeep fixed and start this road trip really soon. I can't give you an exact date of when this is gonna happen, but I can tell you that it's gonna happen as soon as possible. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I think a lot of people might have started following me recently, but don't actually know exactly what I'm striving for. So that is the end game. That is the goal. The goal for this channel is to get the Jeep fixed and start living in the Jeep. 1993 Jeep Wrangler travel vlog. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Patreon link down below if you want to support me as well as nature shots. The idea behind it is I like to take pictures so I take pictures of nature and I put them on coffee mugs, t-shirts, and stickers and every time you buy one of those it also supports me to be able to get more pictures and then also be able to create more content which will only help me grow as I go on.